This is an ECG recorded from a patient complaining of chest pain. Pause this recording now, interpret the ECG on your own, and then press play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 90 beats per minute. The rhythm is atrial flutter with variable block. Organised atrial activity with a rate fractionally below 300 beats per minute is clearly seen in lead V1 with upwards complexes and with negative complexes in the inferior leads. This pattern is suggestive of anti-clockwise or atypical atrial flutter. There is variable block with sometimes alternate and sometimes every third flutter wave being conducted to the ventricles. The axis is normal with an upwards complex in lead 1 and 2. The QRS duration is normal at less than 3 small squares. There is sagging of the ST segment in leads V5 and V6. The T wave morphology is slightly disturbed by being superimposed upon the flutter waves, but the T waves appear to be inverted in all three inferior leads, 2, 3 and AVF. They are also inverted in leads V3 and V4 and flat in lead V5 and V6. In summary, this ECG recorded from a patient complaining of shortness of breath reveals them to be an atrial flutter with variable block and a ventricular depolarization rate of approximately 90 beats per minute with a normal axis and T wave abnormalities in the inferior and lateral regions and slight ST segment depression laterally. The ST and T wave changes would do for infralateral ischemia if this fitted with the clinical picture or they may be representative of a structurally abnormal heart. As always, clinical correlation is required.